Hello everybody, I'm Loaf Dog and welcome back to Rule of Rose for what I believe will be the final episode. This time the girl was certain it was her friend. Yes, there he is, Brown. It's not the girl's dear friend, okay. What happened to him? Was he... Because of the frightening images in her head, the poor girl was a nervous wreck. I mean, those are some Naruto level jutsus right there. <laughs> Come on, Brown. It's not Brown. It isn't Brown this time either, okay. Something terrible has happened to him. Because of the frightening images in her head, the girl was a poor wreck. Um, the poor girl was a nervous wreck, actually. But uh, you better not be telling me anything, game. The girl could hear her friend calling for help from behind the door. Okay, and what do we have here? Strange tools with fresh blood splattered on them are lying on the table. Hmm, weird. Yeah, but if his cries are coming from beyond the door, yeah, <laughs> it's not him either. But I don't want to hear a game. Like, if you're gonna tell me that Brown is in danger, no. No. This month's gift, filthy Brown, no! Come on, we gotta do something, Jennifer. I know you're all against, you know, beating up the kids, but they... Oh, no. No! You get off of him, poor bastard. Oh, they're already done! No, fuck! Okay. Nah, man, I'm bummed out, actually, now. <laughs> Come on. He was our only friend. Oh, it's another puppet. Uh, <laughs> just tell me if he's safe. Stop this. <laughs> I need to know. Oh, yeah, laugh, because it's so funny, bowling on an innocent girl. The Princess of the Rose? Maybe? Yes. And it's Wendy? Right? Is that Wendy? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Amanda. You always give the best news. No. But why would they do this to her? Oh, she's doing the <laughs> the Arthur meme. Oh, what? My friend, give me back my friend. Well deserved. But what the L little Jennifer? Was it actually just an illusion? Never you. Not ever. Or is this like symbolical or something? How could you believe all those lies? Yeah, but she's finally speaking up. You go, girl. I hate you, and I hate you, and you. And I hate myself the very most. No, come on. And not having the strength to stand up to you. Okay, okay, I can see that. But, you're mustering up the strength now. Nice. Oh, now you cry. Now you cry, huh? Okay, I'm still trying to figure out if if it was like actually a game and it was all would I like to save? Yes, I would. Uh but uh yeah, I'm super weirded out by this and confused m more than anything else. W was it all just a, a game and she was imagining stuff or what? Stray dog and the lying princess. Lying princess. Could that be us? Cause I mean they they were treating us badly. I I was kinda thinking in the last episode 
that maybe we actually did something and that's why they hated us so much but I'm not sure who's the spooky man could it be um, Joshua's father maybe and now we're well I don't want to say adults, but like teenagers again. Yeah, that, that was actually the weirdest thing. Although it would explain a little bit, like, yeah, why she's so afraid and shy and... Yeah, she doesn't really do anything to the other kids. Jennifer found Stray Dog. Stray Dog and the Lying Princess. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who told lies. She liked to scare the other girls by screaming, Stray Dog is coming! Stray Dog is coming! But soon, everyone stopped being scared. They hated the way that she lied. One day, the girl came home screaming, Stray Dog is coming! Really? Everyone thought it was just another lie. Except this time, it was no lie at all, and so they were all gobbled up. The end. Ah, what a nice little tale. Reminds me of the boy who cried wolf. Lollipop, nice. Do I have weapons? Yeah. I'm still not sure what the animal bone is for. But maybe, oh, it could still be for brown, right? Huh. The funeral, stray dog. I guess I can drop all this stuff, at least one of the cleavers. I would love to be dual wielding, but sadly the game doesn't let me. Uh, yeah, drop the funeral. I don't know, yeah, let's keep this stuff for now. Could always use it. Someone's laughing. What are you? Are you in the toilet? Nah, probably outside, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, these two. Really? Really? How <laughs> okay. What's so funny? Tell me any tell me as well. <laughs> when they're still crying. <laughs> Assuming the Princess of the Rose was Wendy. I, I, I Was it Wendy? Yeah, the name was Wendy of the little girl in white here. What I'm trying to remember is... Well, I, I don't know if I'm... Yeah, but I think so. It's like, I don't know if the... Oh, maybe not. I know I'm not completing my sentences. Uh, I, I will in just a second. Okay. What I'm trying to say is... The girl sick in bed, which is the one who helped us escape from uh, Gregory, Joshua's father. She was Wendy, right? And if so, is she the Princess of the Rose? They did look similar, but they could just be like similar models. Uh, I'm not super sure about that. Although, honestly, yeah, all the characters are pretty different from each other, so yeah, she probably was Wendy. What's up, Amanda? <laughs> yeah, excuse me if I don't curtsy myself, but like... So, yeah, is she inviting me in the hallway or what? Yep. You could have just told me, hey, come into this room. There's some stuff I want to show you. And I would have been like, fine. Um, yeah, what's up, ladies? <laughs> okay, the one on the left is trying. Ah, oh, thank you. A lollipop just for me. Thank you so much. Oh, ho. why are you hiding in the shadows? Yeah, okay, hi. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it, thank you. 
At least they're showing some respect Greetings. now. Princess, please forgive all that I've done. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. Thank you very much for coming to okay. our new Fantasy Brat Club. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. From so, did I gain some respect for my outburst princess. or what? Now, Princess, please think up a new game. Please lead us. We are yours to command, Princess. Uh huh. Princess, go ahead. Guide us. We need you. We don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe just act normal. It's not that hard. Okay, so it was when day. But yeah. So by standing up to her, I've like taken her station and stripped her powers from her or something? Hmm. I don't know. Stray dog legend that is just Wendy's lie. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe they started to question uh, Wendy's orders. They were like, why, we sh why should we obey you? You're making us do all this weird stuff. Okay, someone's screaming. Um, I don't know, it look it yeah, it seems like it comes from it's coming from here. Classroom. No, this is where I came from actually. <laughs> alright, alright. I don't know, knowing this game, probably the inner courtyard, right? I'm coming. But yeah, let's try... No? Okay. Let's try every room. I don't know. Well, these ones don't really lead to anything, yeah. Just like the sewing room, right? I'll be right there. Just give me a second. Shortbread. Nice. Okay. So I guess we should have headed back instead. Unless I'm supposed to be looking through the windows, but like... Alright. Yeah, hallway. We should probably get back to the entrance and go outside? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, they were outside. Well, at least Wendy was. Is Stray Dog real? They're getting slaughtered, just like the tail. Oh, well, it's been good knowing ya. I'm gonna pack my stuff and leave. Before it's too late. Come on, Jennifer. Ah. Joshua and Gregory? Right? I think. Me. Ah, of course. Thank you, Joshua. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. And a creepy old man. And Joshua flees the scene. Okay, should I just try to escape? No, probably not. Okay, boss fight time, I guess. Let's see. Okay, thankfully I'm all healed up. Because I was doing pretty badly <laughs> in the last chapter. And I have two lollipops. And a shortbread. I'll have to... Yeah, this will have to do... Oh, oh, oh. There, doggy. There, doggy. Okay. I can get in a couple of attacks. Which is good. I really don't want to get hit. If possible. Damn. Jennifer, you gotta hit the enemy though. Mm. No. Okay. Maybe one attack. No, 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 no. Yo, but this dude is huge. Like, look at him. Th that's not normal. Like, he's twice my size. I understand that she's a girl, but like... The dude is built like the rock. Ugh. 
Okay, yeah, one attack. I don't have... I, I, I shouldn't be greedy. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Take a good old spanking on the butt. No. And the frame rate is going nuts. Cool. <laughs> it's kind of funny though, right? Just going around spanking this dude on his butt. Anybody coming in here would be like, what the... what in the S&M is this shit? Yeah, sadly the music isn't doing so well. Like, with the reduced frame rate. And I'm sorry about that, as always. You know, these are my... my equipment isn't up to the task, unfortunately. But... I don't know. I'll see if by Black Friday there are a couple of deals. I'm going to try and get a more performing computer. A better performing computer. Ooh. Brown. Yo. Like a hero. And they say that a hero will save us. And his name is Brown. Come on, come on. No. Uh, what is he doing? It sounded sexual, like Brown got up to him and he was like... Ooh. Okay, come on, as fast as we can. Because the... yeah. I can't take the violins getting... oops. How much health do I have left? Ooh. Okay, okay. I think we're good to go, honestly. Come on, bite his butt. Yeah, that's how we do it. Is okay. Brown is knocked out. <laughs> well, there you go. L let's try. It. Yeah, if I use this, okay, it was for Brown, and he restored him to full health. Nice. Come on, dude, attack. You leave him alone. You hear me? Okay, nice. Now it's your turn, little boy. You think that that will save you? Nah, huh? Okay, so yeah, Jennifer isn't doing super good, but Brown is, so we we can still press on. Are you really dead? Can I can I whack him on the head just to be super sure? Front gate. Is it done? Is it over? I mean, the kids were killed, right? Well, at the very least, their clothes are scattered around. Hi. Because you wouldn't love me. Because you were so stubborn. I brought you here. Who said I wouldn't love you? Ah, Wendy. Because you fell in love with Brown. Because you didn't realize it was me. I brought Stray Dog here. Okay. But I... I... Uh-huh. Please, stop him with this. Only you and your beloved dog can stop him. I'm sorry. Uh... Well... I mean, I guess she got what she deserved, honestly. I don't know, she only took her, but like... Jennifer found Gregory's gun. One question though, before we start the fight again. Like... How does this all work? She says she brought Stray Dog here. And she's sorry, because he killed everybody. And that's okay. But on the other hand... All the airship stuff... The weird little monsters, was that all just pretend? Was none of that happening? I'm so confused. And if it was actually happening, was it still Wendy's fault? How? Anyway. Yeah, Gregory's gun. Gregory's gun, meet Gregory. Uh, there it is. Equip. 
Nice. Come on, girl. Boom. No. Seriously? <laughs> he can't beat us now that we have a gun. I mean, we were doing better with the shovel. Ah. Sorry. Uh, well, uh, okay, you're sorry, but like... Yeah, zero bullets. Um... Now what? Shovel? No, of course he's angry. <laughs> I kind of exploited his weakness. Whoops, I died? Wow, okay. Those were three powerful strikes. Okay, let's try again. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's try and shoot him when he's... No, no. When he says he's sorry. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. No, stop. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. Oh, come on. <laughs> then, like... I don't know, am I doing something wrong? And Brown is dead as well. Yeah, he's hitting hard this time. There you go. And there I go. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess use the shovel. No. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Don't hit me. Okay, go away. Again, again. On the butt. No. Yeah, yeah. Be sorry. And I can attack him while he's doing that. That's why the shot failed. Hmm, weird. Am I supposed to use the gun, like, on, uh, on the environment? Maybe shoot a, a lantern or something that'll burn him. Ouch. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Be sorry. Be sorry there. Okay. There we go. Again. No. Let's... No. That's too much damage, my man. Why did you get so strong? Okay, again. Again, again, again. Go away. Again. Yes, yes. Come on, it's gonna work. He's doing this a little too much, and I can't attack him while he's doing it, so... Okay. Nice. Are you done? Is it over? <laughs> Is he regaining, like... No? He's just dying. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I thought that he was maybe possessed or something, but no. And that is how the girl wound up all alone again. She couldn't keep her promise. Nor did she save everyone. Anyone. What a pitiful, unlucky girl. Uh, excuse me? Hmm, that wasn't very satisfying as an ending. So... <laughs> did I do something wrong? This feels a little weird. Hmm. Yep. I was right, that felt a little too awkward. It turns out, that was the bad ending. There's actually a little thing we have to do here to get the good one. Shouldn't be too hard. We just have to use the, um, the gun when he's saying he's sorry. Uh oh. Oh, come on, be sorry already. Dude. Sorry. Yeah, like this. Okay, uh, use. So is he gonna do it himself? <laughs> I'm sorry, Joshua. Uh-huh. Yeah, but like, what's the difference here? He still dies. Hmm. 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 
Yes, <laughs> I knew it. There's like, there's never been to, hmm, hmm, not followed by a yes, never, in any type of media. Well, it's the same, but I guess I'm not a murderer, at least. Right, Brown? Yeah, usually you have to step away from the light, not go into it. <laughs> but who knows, the light may be our savior here. What I'd like to say, yes indeed. Over right. January. We've made it a whole year, I think, right? January 1930, once upon a time. No, but like 1930, so we've come back at the start? Okay, we're in a room. And it looks like this is young Jennifer. Yep. Alright, we even got the old-timey filter. <laughs> the sepia filter. Jennifer found once upon a dot 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 dot. Once upon a time. Okay. Two girls. And yeah, they, they're becoming friends. Then one is tying up the other. And ties herself as well. And now the dog is uh, responding to the to their singing because I think I see notes. And the dog has saved one, but not the other. Okay, I guess that's what Wendy was talking about. But then again, like this letter looks familiar. Yes, it's one of the secret letters that Wendy and I traded. Is Jennifer Joshua? What's going on? I don't understand. Okay, from W to J, my dear Jennifer. Then, who is Joshua? Like, if he doesn't exist and was just fabricated by Wendy to, I don't know, just to get the game along, did she also fabricate letters and documents and stuff? Why? Why go that far? My dear Jennifer, there is nothing to fear. I am always by your side. I will never betray you. We made an oath, remember? My dear Jennifer, I am so relieved that you are well again. Is that why I couldn't find you yesterday morning? It's no use trying to fool me. I can see right through your pranks. Anyway, thanks in advance. Tee hee hee. Jennifer, thank you for introducing me to Brown. But such a filthy dog is not a good match for you and me. Just give it to Nicholas or something, and let's be content with just the two of us. We can make it if we try. My stubborn Jennifer, is Brown that important to you? It's just a dog, a filthy animal. Please stop sharing your wonderful smile with that thing. Please smile only at me. Yeah, Wendy, giving off... Awful, you know, stalker, creepy type of vibes at the age of eight, or maybe even less. That's not a good look. Jennifer the Heartless, why didn't you come? I waited and waited for you. Why can't I see you every morning? I think only of you. Are you avoiding me? Hmm, Wendy. You were always so lonely. Poor lonely Wendy. I wonder if my letters ever reached her. Uh, I mean... Probably not. Unless you were talking about Brown, and if they reached her, she was even more upset. <laughs> okay, so the orphanage is like normal now. Dun, 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 dun. I can hear, like, pig noises. And someone laughing. Should I go outside? 
Like, the kids must be playing outside, I think. Wendy! Alright. Your hat flew off, Wendy. You gotta be careful. A fish. <laughs> Aww. Okay, um... So, you wanna talk, or...? Hi, yeah. Alright. Is anybody else here? I couldn't be the only one at the orphanage, right? <laughs> huh. What's on the door there? Entrance? This way. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hoffman... I wonder how he's doing. Do you think we can go see him? Reception room, yeah. Hello, oh, Mr. Hoffman. Headmaster's room. Ah, he isn't here. Alright. Mr. Hoffman loved to broadcast over the PA system. While we were cleaning, while we were eating, and even after we were in bed. He always announced our names in the order of his favorites. Well, that's good. That sure won't cause any hostilities <laughs> between the kids. We'd all try our best to win his approval and be the first one to be called. But he never called my name. <laughs> Not once. I thought it was all rather silly anyway. That's the spirit, girl. Hell, I like young Jennifer a lot more. <laughs> she, she stands up for herself. She doesn't care what the others think or do. I wonder why she lost it along the way. I can still hear laughter, but like, where is it coming from? Hallway. Okay, there's a man laughing now. I mean, I'm not gonna go into the headmaster's room because we've just been in there. Closet. Would be a little weird, yeah. No, no one's here. Oh, actually, I didn't check my inventory. Do I, like, have anything? Yeah, I still... Can I... I can't equip it. <laughs> Would have been so funny. Okay, this is locked. Um, So I guess upstairs? Like, where else could they be? Unless it's... Uh, unless it's the freaking Jennifer. inner... Yeah, it's me. Are they in here? No, but someone did call my name. Where are they? <laughs> I mean, this way... Yeah, there should be the kitchen. Oh, could it be the altar room? Let me try going in the dining room first, and then we'll go to the altar. Yeah, nobody's here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it, it can't be any other room. It's gotta be that one. Okay. The voices aren't getting louder. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. Ah, it's closed. Alright. Hmm. Then I'm not really sure. Uh, could be any one of these then. Dun, 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 dun. Sewing room. 
Nah. I don't know, it feels like they're kind of trolling me, <laughs> to be honest. Because once again, if there was going to be someone in a room, it would have been, it would have been up there. Yeah, not even in the dormitory. Yeah, they're trolling me. Let me get back to the, the main hall. Huh. Ah. <laughs> they didn't even know that door led here. Yeah, they're still whispering, Jennifer! Unless they're in the basement? Mm, let's go check up on Wendy again. Maybe she has something to say now. Nope. Hi. No, but she's so cute. I almost forgive her for putting us through that. Almost. Okay. So we're running away as she's she's being locked in there. Oh. Come on, Wendy. Don't be sad. I'll come back, eventually. Strange Hill. Oh, it's foggy up in here. <laughs> no, that's just for the draw distance, okay. Am I going back to the bus stop? Oh, someone's whimpering. Could it be brown? So this is a flashback then. But... Hmm, I'm starting to wonder. Could it be that we actually grew up? And for whatever reason, we went back to the orphanage. Please, wait for me, I'll be there. For whatever reason, we went back to the orphanage. And, but like many years passed and somehow the the people at, over at the orphanage had died and they were ghosts the entire time? It could be. Oh, little brown. I mean, sorry Wendy, but like, you're cute, but he's cuter. Come on. Aww. Come on, take him home. What are you waiting for? Do I have to do something? Save night? Okay. Is she gonna write the words? But then, did we make the promise to ourselves? My dear friend, I never want to lose you again. I'll protect you forever. Everlasting, true love. I am yours. Okay. Yeah, so... I, I thought we made the promise to Wendy, but then again... Mm. And thus the first bucket knight was created. A key. A key for what? Yeah. Come on, you, you can't blame Jennifer. Brown's the best. Okay, she did, she, she just produced the color out of thin air. <laughs> Dude's not really happy about it. Yeah, he doesn't want to be left here. Whoop, yeah. I mean, you could have untied him and brought him back to the orphanage. But still, I feel like I'll protect you. Forever and ever, until I die. Uh, okay, so this is the good ending. I'm still not sure 
what's going on, if I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe somebody can write in the comments what they think is going on. I, I think I'll stick with the last uh, theory I made. She she somehow found Brown and maybe was adopted or something and left the orphanage then came back but they died I don't know it's and, and became ghosts but like I don't know it's so random cuz then why would they have died because of Gregory but then again like mm, I'm so confused I'm super confused. I think I'll have to like uh, go on the internet and and find uh, like an explanation for this, cause yeah. And also, um, she left Brown there, but you gotta assume that that little shack was a property of the orphanage. I mean, it was so close to it. So who put Brown there? Like. It's gotta be like from someone, maybe Mr. Hoffman or one of the other people, Martha, I don't know. Like, <laughs> who would just leave a dog there? Hmm. Pretty weird, pretty weird. But yeah, if you got any theories, or if you actually know for a fact what was happening, I'd be stoked to know, let me know. Anyway, it was an interesting game for sure. The combat was extremely lacking. That's that was probably the weakest um, point of the game, because it's just like bash, bash, and maybe dodge. But other than that, um, pretty cool environment, like all the the creepy atmosphere and stuff. It's all a love suicide. <laughs> You're missing an eye, dude. Um, it surely was, uh, 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 yeah, once again, an interesting ride. The music was super good. Like, I, I didn't expect it coming in. Uh, the music is actually solid, super solid. And some of the tracks, I said it while playing, are so relaxing, like... Like, you wouldn't think they're for a horror game. They're so chill. Like, listen even to this one. I mean, of course, uh, it's probably... The lyrics are probably sad, I don't know, I'm not listening to it. But, but it's relaxing, it's smooth. And, uh, and that's something, yeah, I wasn't expecting going into the game. Um, Brown was... Uh, a nice treat. I'm just waiting to see if this is actually the end. Let's see, let's see. Copyright Sony Computer Entertainment, okay. Is this it? Oh, key. The end is shaped like a four leaf clover. Jennifer found four leaf key. Okay, so this is for New Game Plus, probably? March? Did we start in March? Huh, don't remember. Okay, yeah, that was it for Rule of Rose then. Um, yeah, quite a nice little gem. A little rough at times, maybe, but never dull. And while I'm still here questioning whatever happened during the ending, I thank you for having followed me through this series. I have been Loaf Dog, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye!